What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with another video and this will be my Browns Jets week two preview as the Browns are on the road for the first time this season going to MetLife Stadium to face off against Sam Darnold and the New York Jets on Monday Night Football. Now, of course, this is the first of three big primetime games for the Browns over the next four weeks. And, of course, after we get done with the Jets this week, we head back to the Dog Pound next week to welcome Sean McVay and the Los Angeles Rams to First Energy Stadium on Sunday Night Football. And then we got a Sunday 1 o'clock game, week four, against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. And then after that, we will head out to California, Santa Clara, to face off against Kyle Shanahan, Jimmy G, and the San Francisco 49ers at Levi Stadium on Monday Night Football. And then after that, we head back to the Dog Pound to welcome Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks to First Energy Stadium right before the bye week. So from now until the bye week, we got some very tough games coming up. And that's going to definitely test this team. And I'll tell you what, I'm freaking excited. Let's freaking go. So uh, before I get into talking about this game, I got a couple things to go over real quick. First of all, I got to give a quick shout out to a couple of Jets YouTubers here. Of course, my guy Jet Central holding it down in Florida, repping the Jets all day. And then uh, Gang Green David holding it down in Jersey, repping the squad. You know, uh, two very, very good YouTubers. They know their stuff about their squad. I'd subscribe to them if I was a Jets fan because uh, they know their stuff, especially my guy JC. I'm always DMing him. Uh, big news regarding the Jets or whatever. If it's big news, I usually uh, DM him. Usually if you see a video about something big happening, it's because I DM'd him, letting him know what happened. Yeah. And then he always gives me like a response like, oh my God, wow, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, he's my guy though. You know, a uh, lot of respect for uh, he and Gang Green David because uh, they've come a long way on YouTube. I'll tell you that much. And then, of course, I got to give a shout out to a fellow Sports Fury Nation Mod Squad member, my guy Noam. He doesn't make videos as far as I know, but he's always in the comment section on Sports Fury live streams. He's a really cool person, man. He's a really cool dude. Me and him always go at it in the uh, Twitter group chat. It's not really me and him, but he always goes at it with everybody. You know, it's fun. <laughs> He's a cool dude. But uh, anyways, let's talk about this game, shall we? All right. Now, first of all, the Jets actually made a trade today, acquiring wide receiver Demarius Thomas from the New England Patriots in exchange for a 2021 sixth round pick. And then they found out that Nathan Shepard is suspended six games for a PED violation. Yeah, so that's going to hurt him. And then I heard Quinnen Williams was in a walking boot. So if he misses this game, that's going to hurt him even more, considering uh, Nick Chubb is probably going to get an increase in carries this week. I don't know why we barely used him last week, but that was stupid. you got to roll with Chubb this week, all right? All right, now let's get into the three keys to victory. Now, key number one, there's actually two parts. Key 1A and 1B. 1A is get pressure on Sam Darnold. You know, if you get pressure on him, maybe he'll make a mistake. Throw an interception. Maybe he'll turn the ball over somehow. Fumble it. Maybe you can get a sack fumble. Now, the problem with that is last week against a patchwork Offensive line, our defensive line really didn't do much, mainly because they schemed around it and they utilized quick passes and, of course, Derrick Henry's beastliness. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how we game plan against this offense. Of course, uh, they have a new coach in Adam Gase, and they also added Greg Williams as defensive coordinator, and that's where key 1B comes in. 
because uh, we need this offensive line to protect Baker Mayfield from what I'm guessing will be a ton of blitzes coming from Greg Williams' defense. If there's one thing about Greg Williams, it's that he loves to blitz. And I expect a lot of blitzing from Greg utilizing the Jets' uh, front seven. He's going to blitz from all angles, and hopefully our offensive line is ready for it. Hopefully Greg Williams um, maybe makes a mistake when it comes to uh, maybe double-teaming somebody. Well, you know, he sends the wrong person somewhere. You know, I mean, we all know what he loves to do with tight ends, right? <laughs> he leaves tight ends wide open. Mm -hmm. Sending blitzes can really uh, hurt you. Mm -hmm. Leaves guys wide open if you can't get there quick enough. And uh, hopefully David Njoku can expose Greg Williams' defense a couple times. Now, uh, hopefully Greg Robinson will uh, be smart this time around and not try to kick somebody. But, uh, yeah, that kind of ties into key number two, and that is be smart, right? 18 penalties last week. That's ridiculous. We cannot have that ever again, especially this week. Right? If you look at the stats between us and the Titans, we were relatively even. And then you look at penalties, <laughs> yeah, 18 penalties. It honestly could have been 20, but two were declined. Bruh, you cannot have that. That is ridiculous. I mean, I better not see anything like that ever again. I mean, that just shows you that you're just being stupid. You know, like, oh my God, I mean... I understand, you know, you're trying to be, you know, be bosses out there, but don't be trying to fight people. We had freaking Miles Garrett punching people, man. I'm, I'm happy. You know, he stayed in the game. He was lucky he wasn't, he wasn't freaking ejected like Greg was. Greg freaking tried to kick somebody. Bro, man, stop with that. Man, be smart out there. And number three, this is a big one. Take care of the ball. All right? We were in the game last week until Baker Mayfield decided to go full Jameis Winston and start dishing out turnovers left and right. I mean, damn, bro. They scored 21 points in the fourth quarter, and all 21 came on our side of the field. They didn't have to go really anywhere. They barely had to go anywhere. They were like within around the 20-yard line, all three. Of course, the one was a pick six. But on the other two interceptions, they were in prime striking distance. It didn't take them any time at all to score after that. Honestly, I think the defense was just shot after that 75-yard screen pass touchdown to Henry. After that play, our defense was like, yep, we're done. Yep, they waved the white flag. I don't want to see that either. I don't want to see no quit from this squad. You know, if we're facing adversity, I want them to fight through it. But uh, maybe getting our uh, faces beaten by the Titans, maybe that humbled us a little bit. You know, maybe we came into that game against the Titans a little too uh, big for our britches, and we thought we were going to roll over them, especially after that first series. And that's another thing. After that first series, the offense really couldn't get anything going. So we'll see what happens. It'll be really interesting to see uh, how uh, we scheme for each other, how Greg schemes for our offense, and how we scheme for their defense, and then vice versa, how uh, their offense schemes against our defense, and then how our defense schemes against their offense. It's going to be a good game. Um, player to watch for this one, I'm going to say Odell Beckham. I mean, we're going to his old stomping grounds. Granted, it's not against the Giants, although we will see them next year. But uh, it's still MetLife Stadium. You know, it's his old home. I expect him to have a big game. And then um, prediction, I'm going to say Browns eke out a victory by a final score of 28 to 24. Baker leads the comeback victory yet again. And then the defense, once again, for the second year in a row, seals the deal with a turnover to end the game. Browns win. We go one and one. And then we head back home to face off against the Rams on Sunday Night Football next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Again, shout out to all my Dog Pound friends out there, my brothers out there repping the Dog Pound. Can I get a dog check?
Yeah, you already know what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.